Thank you. Hey, welcome to Anita Life. My name is Anita Norris and this is 100 Days to Reclaim Your Health. Today we're going to talk about informed self-care. It's really a part of the doTERRA wellness pyramid, which we have been talking about for the last few weeks. 30 days? So stay tuned and remember to like, subscribe, and sh uh, hit that bell so that you can be informed anytime a new video is dropped. All right. Um, informed self-care refers to making the conscious choices regarding our health and well-being based on reliable information, research, and professional advice. It involves actively seeking knowledge about our bodies, lifestyle, and the products or practices we use to support our wellness journey. And there are benefits of informed self-care. First of all, empowerment, because it empowers us to take control of our health and make educated decisions that align with our unique needs. It also is not a holistic approach because it considers various aspects of our well-being, including our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual dimensions. It's personalized as it allows us to tailor our wellness practices to suit our individual preferences and requirements. By staying informed, we can identify potential health concerns early on and take preventative measures to maintain optimal well-being. The doTERRA Wellness Pyramid is a framework that guides individuals in achieving holistic wellness through a balanced approach. It emphasizes a foundation of healthy habits supported by natural solutions and targeted products to address specific health goals. The foundation of the pyramid is based on adopting healthy lifestyle practices, which we have talked about extensively over the past 30 days. This includes factors such as nutrition, exercise, adequate sleep, stress management, and even maintaining a positive mindset, but also includes informed self-care and proactive medical care at the top. How do we put this wellness pyramid into our lives? Well, this is where informed self-care comes into play. Imagine you have an open umbrella protecting the four or five pillars of health that you are holding up. The pillars are made of dissolvable crystals and you really don't want them to get wet. But the winds shift and change driving the rain onto those crystals. But you've got your umbrella of self-care to protect those pillars by helping you know where you need to position it and you need and which pillar needs more protection. So as you can see, informed self-care is positioned near the pinnacle of the pyramid, just under proactive medical care, which refers to a healthcare approach that focuses on preventative measures, early detection, and again, proactive interventions to maintain and improve overall health and well-being. Okay, it involves actively taking steps to prevent or minimize the occurrence of health problems rather than solely reacting to symptoms or treating existing conditions. Okay, but let's go back to the benefits of uh, how, how self-care is positioned right underneath that proactive medical care. Okay, because that gives you the opportunity um, and underscores the, uh, the importance of conscious decision-making and empowered choices. Some examples of proactive, wrong words, some examples of informed self-care. What are some examples of informed self-care? Well, I'm getting there. Uh, here we go. Adding LLV, uh, adding in LLV for your supplement needs or using essential oils to clean or help with your emotions. It's choosing to exercise and move your body, 
to keep the joints loose and limber. It's learning what nutrition style works best for your body. It's choosing to use cleaning products or self-care products that don't add to your toxic load as uh, is also a part of informed self-care. There's so much we can do under the, under the umbrella or with the umbrella of informed self-care to keep our four pillars strong and healthy uh, and stable and um, ready to carry us forward into a, um, a lifelong vitality and into um, our health span and our lifespan ending at the same time. I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, like, subscribe, and share. Um, bring other people on, and we're going to do it again tomorrow. See ya.